the uh, people in Parliament here was saying we have to take this seriously and have some contingency plans in case there is. There's going to be something's going to happen. They just don't know the extent of it. Newsweek, January 2nd, 1997, had an article called The Day the World Crashes. And they had worst case scenario, best case scenario. And even the best case scenario, you know, there were a lot of problems. Worst case scenario was what he said. It'll be like Beirut or something like that. I mean, it's sad they use that as an example. Uh, who, who do the, the scholars consider to be Mujaddid of the past hundred years? I, I, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's a Sahih Hadith in the Layyab Al Arasi Kuli Farnin, and Mujaddid who had the Deen. Allah will send at the head of every generation somebody who renews the Deen. And some of the ulama say the man there is uh, does not indicate that it only has to be one; that it can be more than one person. Generally, the ulama. Uh, recognized certain mujaddidun like Imam Shafi'i was considered a mujaddid uh, Imam Al-Ghazali was considered radiallahu anhum was considered a mujaddid and, and many others oh, throughout history uh, is the World Cup and other competitions I mean a part of the Dajjal system I, you know I, time went so fast I really wanted to go through each one of the areas because, and I, I had slides for it and everything, but I just didn't get time to do it. There are each area of this system, which you can identify at the political level, the uh, social level, educational level, medicine, um, all of the different. There, are, you know, the Dijal, There is a system here. It is Dijalic by nature. Um, sports is a major part of it. All right, and there was a, a beautiful poster here. They had big in England that I saw last time I was here, and there was some you know skinhead type person jumping up and down in seat, and the, and it said for some people soccer is their religion, and then on the bottom it said we know how you feel, and it was an advertisement for a sports channel, and the point is that is not hyperbole. For some people, soccer is their religion. It is a religion. And they go to it like if they would go to church. They learn, their, their saints are all the heroes. They want to be just like them, the soccer players. Um, you know, Pele is probably at the, a level of prophet or something like that. Um, some, some people give no importance to Salah. They say we have to establish Kedapa. I haven't met any Muslim that does that, personally. I have. I mean, there are Muslims that emphasize Kedapa and the, the, the Khilafah, it's true, we're lacking Khilafah, and, and the, the, our enemies recognize that. If you read Samuel Huntington's book, one of the things he says is that the Muslims, uh, since they've lost their head, even though it was a titular uh, you know, head, it did not have real authority or power, he said they have not been able to regain any type of cohesion. Uh, and that is true. And we do need a khilafah, there is no doubt. And that is an important element of it. Uh, I think where we'll get into differences is what is the methodology that will bring that about. And uh, certainly the hadith which indicate the khilafah would remain on minhaj and nabuwa for 30 years is a sound hadith. And then it would become kings fighting for it. And then it would become tyrants. And then it would go back to the minhaj and nabuwa. The vast majority of scholars indicate that that would be at the time of the Mahdi. And... Uh, I would not be surprised if that's very close. I think that that, that is going to happen, and it might happen in our lifetimes, Allahu Alam, if Allah gives us a long life. Um, generation before thought there was age, was the last age yet they survived. Uh, like the generation before, you haven't, you got it wrong. Um, I'll tell you something. This is a really valid question, um, but what I would say to you, my answer to you is, you should live your life as if the hour was going to happen tomorrow. Maybe, maybe I am wrong, but I, I have to live my life believing that it could happen any time because that will prepare me psychologically for my own last hour, for my own Y2K crash, my computer crash, when I die, when, when I uh, end, because that, that is a sa'a. Sa'a in Arabic, there's three meanings. The sa'a, the sughra, wusqa, wal kubra. Sa'a, sughra is each one of our death. The rest are sa'a. The middle sa'a is our generation. In this room, within a hundred years, everybody in this room will be dead. We'll all be dead. And that is a qiyamah for this generation. 
And then the Sa'ad Kubra is where the whole earth comes to an end. So it is true, but I'll tell you, the Sahaba, there was a time when the Prophet ﷺ was describing the Dajjal, and they heard some rustling in the bushes in the Nakhir, they thought it was the Dajjal. And the point that the Muhajideen say about it is the Prophet ﷺ, gave them a sense of the immediacy of the hour. And the Quran says that many times. The sa'a has drawn near. What will convey to you, maybe the sa'a is, is coming close. And it says that the kuffar, that they, uh, they, they laugh about it and say, come on, let's see the last hour. And the, the mu'minun, the believers, mushfiruna, minha, they, they, they're afraid of it. Right? So, so you should live your life as if the, it could happen any time. The Prophet ﷺ said the hour will come and people are buying and selling in the marketplaces. It just comes on them. And then the, the hadith that gives you hope is the hadith in waqa'at ala ahdikum as sa'a wa biyadihi fasira in astata'an yagrisa fal yagrisa. If the hour comes and in one of your hands is a, 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 a palm, a, a, sprout, then, and he's able to finish planting it before the hour comes, let him finish planting it. So we have to get on with our lives, and get on, but at the same time we have to prepare, and not be fools. And the Prophet ﷺ was somebody who kept in his house provision for a year. One of the things Yusuf ﷺ told the, the Egyptian was to prepare for seven years of famine. Uh, sanctions for the Muslims, if we were following the Sunnah, you know, really. And, and, and they couldn't have, sanctions wouldn't harm us. And also the mu'min eats from one intestine. And the kafir eats from seven intestines. The Muslims fast one month out of the year. They can deal with these type things. In the history, and I'll tell you something about Iraq. In the Sahih of Imam Muslim, one of the signs of the, right before the Mahdi is Iraq is, is uh, sanctioned. It's in Sahih Muslim. Iraq is sanctioned and the wheat is not able to get to it nor uh, any money. And after that, uh, Sudan or Egypt, Mosul, which includes Sudan, and then Syria, Sham, and then Yadharu Fikum Khalifa, Yahtu al Mal Hatwa. Then the Mahdi comes, a Khalifa who the ulama interpret to be in Mahdi, and he gives, disperses wealth. Another sign is the, uh, the Iraq. The, the, the Forat River will begin to uh, become dry. And this is happening because Turkey now is beginning to divert the water and the water tables in, and the Forat, it's a sign of the end of time. And the Prophet said that the river will uncover a bedrock of gold. In a riwayah kanz min al and in a riwayah jabal, a whole mountain of gold. And when that gold is discovered, many people are going to kill over it. They'll kill for it to get that goal. So that hasn't happened yet. Uh, uh, in your talk, you mentioned the hadith indicated in the world very close. Does that mean that Azlah's deen will not prevail? No, that, I mean, that's my point. I didn't get to that part, which is an important part, which is that it does prevail. And that, that the Dajjal, which, who, when he comes, he comes at the head of a global uh, type of government. And he travels through the earth. Uh, it says in the hadith that he'll cross the ocean three times in a day. In one day. In one day, three times. Uh, like the Concord now, you can get three flights a day there. And uh, the, uh, the other thing that he will, that he will enter into every city. He doesn't go to little villages. He enters into cities. And... and which is part of the urbanization.